My name is Flaminia and I'm working as data scientist in a fintech company that provides different online uh, payment solutions. The main goal of my job is to um, learn patterns from data. We have a lot of customer data and uh, we analyze this data to let the data speak for us. For example, uh, our major goal is to try to avoid fraudulent transactions online. And for this, for this reason, we implement uh, the so-called machine learning algorithms that are able to be trained on historical data and then predict the future. So originally I studied physics and for many years I worked as researcher in geophysics. Just four years ago, I decided to leave academia and uh, looked for a new position, a new job for myself. And at that time, I was looking for something where I had the feeling I could recycle myself. And data science seemed the good choice for me because, I mean, this is the era of big data. Data science is very much required. And I thought that with a scientific background, it could have been possible for me. So I was inspired by searching in, in, in the internet and seeing what is, one of the job more requested lately. That's why I approach data science. Every day my company starts in my team with a meeting that we call Stand Up. And it's about 15 minutes meeting, meeting where we update each other on the start of, status of the tickets we are working on. In this way, we know if we have impediments, if we need maybe to work in couple on, on a specific project or topic, or if we can continue working by ourselves. And after this meeting, then the majority of our time is devoted in programming because we program new software or chunk of software. And but during the day, we have also kind of a lot of meetings because we um, meet within the team to decide of how to tackle a new problem or we meet with our stakeholders to know uh, if they need some improvement on our services and we present to them our new achievements. I studied physics so I have a uh, master degree in physics and after that I decided to continue studying in a PhD school in geophysics. Uh, after the, my PhD I worked as a researcher for almost 10 years and just recently, so I was already kind of old, I decided to move towards data science. Uh, this is because the, the path in the academy might be not very straightforward. And um, data science interested me because it's any way related to science. I thought I could have been uh, good in doing this kind of job. And for that, I prepared myself by studying, taking a lot of online courses. There, are, there is a lot of, of, of topics in, in internet that one can use to prepare himself or herself for doing uh, data analysis. The professional skills required in my job, I think can be a long list. Uh, first of all, for sure, um, analytical thinking because we need to solve complex problems and we, think we, ha we need to have uh, um, yes, this kind of skill, analytical skills, uh, critical thinking for sure. Um, also, what it's called soft skills, in my opinion, are very important because we work very intensively in a team, so in cooperation. That means you have to understand the other people, be able to speak with them and uh, be always on the same page, also emotionally. 
um, it's important also to be able to present in front of a public because you have to present your work to the stakeholders, sometime also to the higher figures in the company to explain what we are doing and explain it with simple words for everybody, not, not just mathematical words. So I think, um, yes, the skills one has to have are quite a lot. And we have not to forget also about programming skills because at the end of the day, what we're doing, it's mainly programming. I think that with a scientific background, one can do many different things. For example, if we think about my experience in data science, I think that data science is very versatile because you can use it in very different topics. So it doesn't matter if it's online payments or another kind of research, I think I might be able to change the topic and apply my knowledge in data science, data mining and statistics into another topic quite easily. It means learning a new project or understanding a new product. And also my knowledge in geophysics, I think, allows me to work in different fields. At the end, what is very important in my opinion is that we have a methodology. And once one person has a methodology and is able to study new things, no matter the age, you can always recycle yourself. The main challenge in my job, I would say, is that uh, precision and speed have to have end in end. That's because we need precision to uh, develop reliable software that is used in the core part in our company, because without some risk analysis, the company will go in bankruptcy very quickly. On the on the other hand, we are required to be speed, so to be fast, and that's also uh, something very important because when you're working in the industry, you go into with, with a very fast pace. So the combination of uh, reliability, robustness, and uh, and precision with speed, it's the major challenge, I think, for people that work in my sector. My advice for students is maybe a bit old fashioned, but always start and learn with commitment, with curiosity. But on the other side, I also think students have to be free and decide what they really like and follow they, their sentiments in what they study, because you have to do something you like in life. Uh, if I think about my experience, for me, it was really important when I, when I went abroad and, and see what the others do, what in other countries one can do, and not limit myself to my country where I started. That was, for me, very important. I think that uh, in the new generations, kids have a lot of tools. For example, if you think about internet and or... YouTube, for example, there are so many channels you can use to, to find very nice and creative um, training or just talks about physics or mathematics. They have so many sources of learning. I cannot even imagine. I couldn't imagine it at my time. Teachers and parents can help kids and students by letting them free, in my opinion, uh, and encourage always their curiosity in learning new things. Also, cross topics things, because it, it doesn't matter what it is. And there are connections with many different topics, within many different topics. So, yes, curiosity and freedom, in my opinion, it's really, really important combination.